summer, we pack our bags and head to the lakes around the state. And Frank and Maxie are about to wrap up their trip. They've been enjoying their time in Hutchinson this week. It's just about an hour west of the Twin Cities. And Mike and Frank, we're told that you guys uh, have had a few drinks or you're surrounded by a few <laughs> drinks over there. <laughs> First yeah. time. Start with that one. We'll just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> You can't help it. We're out here at the Crow River Winery. It's a great place, great night. You can see it in the background. They got a big event coming up calling their, called their Dine in the Vines event. Yeah, 2017 version. We're so happy we're here on the night it is. A hundred people will sit down here. They'll come in for cocktails about 5.30. It's absolutely gorgeous setting. So in addition to that type of thing, they also have at the uh, actual uh, vineyard and the estate itself a uh, beautiful event space. So there's a lot of weddings. There's a lot of different events that take place. And to top it all off, they serve great wine on top of it. You swirl it, <laughs> and the swirling opens up. That opens up the aromatics exactly. and the smells. To swirl it first, I, Frank. I swirl. Yeah. Them, so you I'm swirl. Ready. Aromatics. I was going to give you a little yeah. smell, and then if you have a nice white background, for you can look at the color. So you're looking, looking at the color. Of course. Every day. The Crow River Winery is open to the public every day. They host wine tastings. They have a bistro that serves appetizers and pizza. And the vineyard, the grapes that uh, are developed here came from the University of Minnesota. They're made to grow in our climate. The most popular are the Marquette and the La Crescent. And it was nice of Lucas to be as patient as he was with you. Yes, yes, he was. I didn't know that's what you did. There's a bucket and this wine, and I didn't know what to do next, but luckily I had Frank and Lucas with me. And the nice thing is, if you're not, I love wine. Maxie doesn't drink a lot of wine, but they serve the beer here as well, so he was quite happy. Yeah, yeah we really <laughs> had to right, uns right in the middle of a cornfield with this. No, it looked like yeah. he was using it as mouthwash or something. <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you. It's a little That's rough what they told the me to do, okay? Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs>